Josh Sawyer is out after two-thirds of an inning. They're going to turn to Andy McGuire. One last chance in this series for the right-hander McGuire with his 386 earned run average. And good for the coaching staff for Texas to get McGuire back out there and skip Johnson and Augie Garrido after he gave up the home run, the game winner two days ago. Yeah, almost a, a, an irrelevant inning, but a real relevant inning for Texas. Josh Sawyer comes in through nothing but strikes. Really did a great job. That's a big arm. Andy McGuire in this sophomore class that it was so ballyhooed in recruiting, he was the marquee guy as much as anybody, but it was as a position player and a third baseman. Now converting to pitcher, it's a big arm, but he's just learning to pitch. Sophomore out of Oakton, Virginia gets a foul ball first, nothing and one. And McGuire was a guy with a national reputation, a Team USA player, was a huge draft risk. Texas really even wondered if they were even going to get him to campus. And now he's here, and, and you think of so many guys that were position players that convert to a pitcher, and can he be one of them? 19 starts last year at third base, three as the DH as well. Good-looking breaking ball right there. Can he be a Trevor Hoffman? College shortstop at University of Arizona. 0-2. Another breaking ball. It's one and two on Costello, who's scored twice, driven one in, and reached out an error. I'll tell you, Jason, that's a good breaking ball, which really impresses you about Corey Hassel. That's the pitch in the 18th inning he ended the game with on that sharp breaking ball. That's really being in the moment. This ball got him for strike three, locked him up. And the first strikeout for Oklahoma State since the fourth inning of the game. They'll try and close it out in the ninth next.